Today we create art for our amusement, to display the individual talent unique to each person's imagination. But the inspiration an artist draws from is most likely from the past or current influences in culture. In this video we would see contemporary African art as well as its traditional form, both carrying meaning and value to those creating it. Many artists drew inspirations from their ancestral past. When they do it is called Sankofa, to go back and get it its literal translation. It is meant to carry culture, language, and values, and style from the past to the present. You can see this in many pieces of contemporary African art that carry on traditions from yesteryear. The most famous artist to fully evoke the Sankofa meaning is John Michael Basquiat. His artwork has similarities to Nkisi power figures, Femba characteristics and depictions of women, and more. At the JMB created the foundation for mainstream audiences to in indulge in the complexities of traditional African culture. Many contemporary artists were able to come into fruition. First, we will examine the Dogon mask. It is from one of the ancient African tribes dating back to 3200 BC from Africa. The Dogon people originated around what we call today Mali. Masks were used in ritualistic dances. These dances were performed to their, de to their many deities to evoke their spirits and for their well-being. You may say this can be any mask, but it is not. Its features are specific to those used by the Dogon Zan people. This previous mask is more simpler, but its shape is common among masks um, of those tribes. You may say this can be any mask, but it is not. Its features are specific to those used by the Dogon and San people. The previous mask is more simpler, but its shape is coming among masks of those tribes. This mask is made of a plant water that resembles the simple shape of a traditional mask. This mask is made of a plant water that resembles the simple shape a traditional mask would have. Its long stem resembles that of horns, used to depict the way for stronger communication to the deities. Power figures were used for omens, pair, Good fortune and protection from the world's aggression. They were called Nkisis, a virtual, a versatile figure to use among people. Its nails embedded in it represent the prayers that were answered. The hole in the middle of the figure is used to place special objects within it. From rare spices to charms, these items were placed as an offering to the deities. Fun fact about this figure, its value is around 1.5 to 2 million US dollars. A high price for something incredible valuable to its user. One might say it is priceless, an item that should not be on sale, in my opinion, belongs to the people whose ancestors made it. In this contemporary piece, the figure resembles a combination of both. It looks like it gets the rugged look from the Nkisi. At first glance, it seems intimidating, but the elegance of the figure on top of the base makes it more of a bene benevolent figure, like a fembo would. These pieces of both traditional and contemporary art show how Sankofa is used in artwork today.